gonna play to win, but we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week we're joined by Bill and Jordan of Casually Competitive to figure out which creature type is best in CEDH. So Jamie wait. Taco keeps stealing my lines. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joseph from Casual Competitive. If you want to check out some semi CEDH um, higher powered magic gameplay, check out our YouTube channel, Casual Competitive MTG. So we have me on Edgar Vampires. Cam's playing Morrowind Elves, Bill's playing Anala Wizards, and Jordan's playing Najila Warriors. <laughs> Many pregames. No. None here. Draw card. Cavern of Souls on Vampire. Let's cast Unholy Efficient. Trigger Edgar. Make a vampire. Cast Mana Crypt. Tap the Mana Crypt for a Talisman of Hierarchy. Tap the Talisman of Hierarchy for a white, losing life to 39. Cast Sky Marcher Aspirant. Trigger Edgar. Make a vampire. That's it, best turn. <laughs> um, that's a good six. <laughs> yeah. I get to draw. I'll go forest into birds of paradise and pass. That's not an elf. No, it's not an elf, but don't <laughs> worry about it. They get along very well. They're okay. friends. All right, sure. All right, I will draw for turn. Cavern of souls, lotus petal, and then pass. A draw. Oh, I'm sorry. Cavern of souls naming wizards, obviously. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, don't forget that. Hopefully this polluted delta. I'm going to pass. Okay, go to me. Untap. Upkeep. And so win. No damage. Draw a card. I'll go to combat and I will attack all of these guys at Anala. All right, I'll go to 35. In two, I will cast a Demonic Tutor. Floating one. That's it. I will just pass my turn. I'll get a draw. And um, Dylan's made me rethink my turn to play. I'll play a Gaius Cradle. I will tap two for a Collector Oof. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I will pass the turn. I had the option of casting a turn two Marwyn on this turn, but after seeing a bunch of artifacts hit the table on turn one, I felt much more comfortable with this option. Yes, although my hand looks very explosive, that Cavern of Souls is actually a little bit lame with my kind of spell heavy hand. Normally I have a lot of vampires, but this particular hand I was kind of relying on some other card advantage. Uh, and this collector oof means I basically can't cast any of the stuff that I'm tutoring for or any of the game plan action that I had for this game. Also, collector oof's not a fucking elf. Yeah, but it, it gets along with the elves. <laughs> the elves are friends. nature friendly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Drop a turn. Watery Grave, shocking it in, going to 33, cast this Imperial Seal. This card's gonna go on top, now that's good for the turn. Who we'll crack this? Blood Crypt. I'm gonna shock it in, you play a Vampire Tutor? Oh my god, everyone yeah, is tutored. Set. Everyone's tutoring. Except me. <laughs> you know, my turn? Boom, who shock in a Breeding Pool, down to 33. I'm gonna play a three visits. Burden, shock it in, and pass the turn. Go to me, untap. Mana Crypt, lose. Take three, go to 35. And heart of the cards, here we go. Draw a card, hilarious. Go to combat. Let's send the Sky Marcher Aspirant at Cam. And then I guess let's send these other vampires up at Jordan this time, three at Jordan. Those other vampires are supposed to tap, obviously. My, my one vampire has Vigilance, so I guess in my head I, I, I sign them Vigilance. I remember in like half a turn cycle from now. Second me, do nothing, pass turn. Nice. It's a lot All worse right. without the card draw. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A lot worse without the card draw. If you didn't see the game on Casually Competitive's channel where we played this matchup the same, except for instead of Anala, there was an Edric. Um, that was much better for me as an Edgar player. So I got to draw like seven cards a turn. So if you want to watch Edgar do that, go watch their channel. Well, I didn't, did not get a land. Three mana for Morwen. Finally, an elf. Now I have to pass. Untap, draw, swamp. You know, we're just gonna pass because we can't do anything. No spell tutor. Step. You're gonna play a light and tutor? Many tutors. Light and tutor. I bet that's what you vampiric tutored for. A hundred percent. How'd you know? I'm gonna get a utopia swamp. I will draw utopia swamp here, naming black, white, black. These are tapped. Sorry. I'm missing board. Sorry, my creature. Ooh, Ishin. That's my turn. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt, win, no damage. Draw a card, cast a Lotus Petal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, join the club. <laughs> Go to combat. Sky Marcher at Cameron and these other three. This time they will come down there at you, Bill. All right, so I'll be going down to 28 because I cannot block. 36 for me. And then that's it. I will pass my turn. I'll get a draw. All right. Leaf Crowned Visionary. We'll get a counter on Marwyn. So we'll just put a, a Cogla on, into play. <laughs> oh, collector mm. move. Right? Yeah, no, it's collector? definitely not Collector Oof. I'm between Ishin and the Aspirant again. 
How is this aspirin drawing so much heat? <laughs> just, just do one. It's got to be Ishin. We're going to fight Ishin. <laughs> I will move to combat. Yeah, there's no way Dylan can put a count on his thing. Dylan, coming at you for two with Collector Oof. <laughs> Give it to me. All right. Oh, oh shit. shit. Marwin would have tapped for an additional mana because it gets plus one, plus one because of the Leaf Crown Visionary. That's true. I fucked up enough where I'm just going to pass. Love to hear it. I think that's the thing that I've said the most in games <laughs> of Magic. I <laughs> fucked up so much. I'm not going to do anything else in fear of fucking up more. So, yeah. Untap. Draw. Play this uh, Bloodstained and Mire. Going to crack it. 27. Shock in this team, then. So why not? Going to 25. Cast this uncounterable Seagate Stormcaller. There is an Anala trigger on the stack. Pay the Anala. So I'll get a hasty copy of it. It's a 2 1. I'm going to tap for a black. I'm just going to demonic consultation here. Ooh. So three demonic consultations. Whoa. It, it resolves. Okay. Let's go with Thassa just so I don't exile it. Top six. I'll reveal until I reveal Thassa's as a spell seeker. Oh my god, there yeah, you're gonna okay. run out of cards to name. Alright, so this will go to hand. I guess I named Tainted Pact here. We'll go to the top six. No Tainted Pact. There's Tainted Pact. So now this is a, a really scary time. How I'll many cards back. are there? 15 cards. So third is gonna be Pact. Why not? Pact of Negation. Pact of Negation. So. Six. Oh, there was a Fluster Storm. Okay. Uh, I don't think well, it's a good thing you didn't name Fluster Storm, though. <laughs> Fact. Okay. All, right. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna go to combat. Let's swing this little hasty two one at somebody. Why not? Are you done? I won't buck. I'll take two. Go down step. I will sacrifice, and then I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Play gemstone cabinets. I will play my commander, and I will pass the turn. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. What the heck? I forgot a mana crypt trigger. Okay. You can deal with that, right? Who me? Yeah, you. The vampire player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kill him. I have a swamp, basic land swamp. That I, this is the happiest I've been in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap this swamp for a dark ritual. Yeah. I'll make three black mana. That was the card that I tutored for. Cast Necropotence. Probably too little too late. I might just cast this Force of Negation. Are Exile. you? Exile in the Pact. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is nice. fine. That is, of course, fine. Yeah. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I guess, Bill, we gotta, we gotta come at you. All right, I'll go to combat. Bill, coming at you with everyone. 20. Two cards in hand, pass turn. Go to my turn. Well, let's cast the Lotus Petal. This is five mana. We'll make five green. We'll use three of the green to put an Umbral Mantle onto the stack and make everyone wish that Force of Negation wasn't just used. <laughs> oh, boy. Does Collector Roof stop you? Uh, y yes, it does right now. Kogla only returns humans to your hand. Right, yes. So we can't return the Collector Oof and then win me the game immediately here. Unfortunate. It is very sad. Yeah. I have pass no priority. Response. No, yeah, nothing for me. One, two, three, four, five. Soul's Majesty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play a forest. Flint Horn Elf. Give a counter on Marwin. I will pay one to draw a card. Attack. Bill, what's your life total? 20. Kakla over at Bill and Collector Oof over at Dylan. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Kogla has an attack trigger. The Lotus Petal. Go to cleanup. Discard Dustwatch Recruiter and Fierce Impath. All set. Untap. Draw. So I'm going to play this Blue to Delta. You want to crack it? Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I got anything. Just to see what the last two cards in my deck are because I don't remember. Ooh, fail to find. Okay. Blue. Blue. Just uncountable Thassa's. Cool. Uh, any response I... to Thassa's on the stack? Not for me. I don't think I have None for to me. cast anything else either because cool. I only have two cards. Um, ETB trigger. I'd like to respond to that. I'd like to respond to that first. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Abrupt Decay! That's us. Mm. That is fine. Because then that will, how many cards are in your library? Two. Oh, so then you that'll don't be, win the that'll game. That'll be then. one. Yeah, so oh. you won't win the game. Well, I mean, he still has Tainted Pact. But now we have um, season Tainted Pact. No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's good. Everything's good, yeah. Abrupt Decay resolves. Thassa's is destroyed. Thassa's is Oracle destroyed. Trigger the Thassa's or Oracle Trigger is still on the stack. Yep, on the stack. That's and you trigger. respond first to Thassa's Oracle Trigger, right? Yes. Or I guess, yeah. But I don't know if I want to pass on the Thassa's Oracle Trigger. I think I'll pass on it. Cool. And by passing on it, that means that you won't win the game. So, so, I, get I, so, so I get a look at the top one. Time. Put it back on top of my library. Okay. All right, and then I will attempt to reanimate the Thassa Oracle. Yeah, cool, okay. So I will lose two Thassas back on stack. Jordan, you good? Yeah, I got nothing else. I pass. Yeah. Evoke Endurance. Pitching Rishkar's expertise. Hell yeah. Shuffle them to the bottom of your library. Just I don't lose. You don't lose. 
No, you don't lose. So I will have a process trigger. Okay, it sounded like you had something. I was like, you know what? <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, yeah. probably don't want to. Okay, don't make so, me not walk into so, it. So let me, yeah, let me get the top three off of the process trigger to resolve. So this one will go on top, and then these two will go. This doesn't matter. And then I'll pass turn with one card in hand. Cool. Keep forgetting that Marwyn can tap for an additional one because of Leaf Crown Dryad. <laughs> I forgot again. <laughs> I forgot again. We will play uh, Miri Weatherlight Duelist in the Mind Blade Render. We will swing. I really don't want to swing Najila, but I have to. I'll swing it at Cam. I will take it. An additional 1 1 at you. Yes, I'm down to 32. I will lose a life and draw card because Mind Blade Render trigger. And then I will be done. Untap. Upkeep. What the heck? I forgot a mana crypt trigger before combat. This is five. This is nine. I'm going to cast this Orzov Signet. That does not do anything. Okay. Look at that. I have 10 permanents. I become blessed. I have the city's blessing. Scar Mercher Aspirant gains flying. Nice. <laughs> Go to combat. Cam, I will attack you. All right. So that's another five. Another five. 27. You should have fought it. You should have fought it while you had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> now it has flying. It's getting out of control. <laughs> uh, I have two cards in hand. That's it. Pass turn. Go to my turn. Draw for turn. Play a forest. Pay three mana to cast Beast Within, targeting my collector oof. Shit! A beast token here. I would like to equip Umbral Mantle to Marwyn. How much mana does that cost? Zero. No way, you're kidding me. Yeah, it's it's zero. I know, right? It's busted. <laughs> What's cool. it do now? Well, I can tap Marwyn to make four mana. Great. And then I can use the ability that the Umbral Mantle gives Marwyn by paying three mana and untapping Marwyn to give Marwyn plus two, plus two until end of turn. So now I can tap Marwyn for five. I'd like to demonstrate a loop where I make infinite mana. You can't be infinite, you have to pick a number. That's true. A billion mana leaving Marwyn untapped. What I can do is with my billion mana, I'll cast Boreal Druid. I do get a counter. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna show it. I have Finale of Devastation. I'll put yeah, that'll, uh, that'll yeah. do it. 300 million mana into. How do you get, yeah, you can get some creatures in play. Yes, Fortunate. one, two, three, four, five blockers. Mm, I guess that's true. Okay, so I, I do have to do a couple of other things then. I think you got to get a couple extra creatures in play. Okay, One, no, two, that's okay. Three, we can four, do this because we have um, Eternal Witness. We'll get back Collector Oof, put that back to hand. We'll crack Lotus Petal for a green. Cast yeah. Collector Oof. Kogla will allow me to bounce Eternal Witness back to my hand so I can recast it. I can get Endurance, which is another um, creature which I'll cast then and I'll make Dylan shuffle his graveyard to the bottom of his library. I'll bounce Eternal Witness back to my hand with Kogla and recast it. I'll then um, get back Duskwatch Recruiter and then cast that from my hand. Kogla bounce Eternal Witness back to my hand, recast Eternal Witness, get Fierce Impact back to my hand, cast the Fierce Impact, get a counter on Marwen, pay an additional green to draw a card off of the Leaf Crown Dryad because it's a Fierce Impact. I can go get a big creature, a woodland bellower. Do you see where I'm going? I can get yeah, more. I think we're yeah, so, right? I think we're dead. Yeah, because we have what? You have to have more I'll than five blockers. Or and no then more now than... I still. You can uh, also activate I... Duskwatch Recruiter a billion times. True. Oh, yeah, that's also true. Yeah, I can do that and get every single creature out of my deck. You know, I'm I think good, we lose. I'm good, just good I that. really <laughs> think, I think, I think that he doesn't have it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Finale of Devastation is a powerful card. Given all the creatures, haste is super relevant. And these mono green decks, I feel like, are so powerful because of the existence of this card, oh, among mm -hmm. other things, too. I mean, the mono green decks can be very broken, this one in particular. But if you have a way to go infinite mana in your command zone, Finale of Devastation just is the best way yeah. to utilize all that mana. I could have even kept getting it back with Eternal Witness and going through There's it. There's so like many that things too. that you could do at that point. Like, yeah. you can go infinite a billion different ways. There were a lot more elves in this deck than this. <laughs> made it look thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support us directly you can do so on patreon like our 100 dollars patrons demon of raz grizz and baby g bus if you want to pick up any of our merch you can do that at our plate if you want to pick up any of our merch you can do that at our what is it website if you want to pick up any of our merch, go to playtowinmtg.com. If you'd like to support us at no additional cost to you, check out our affiliate links down below. If you want to follow us for more content, you can do that at TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Uh, $50 patrons next. Let's give a shout out to our $50 patrons. Mitchell Shepard, Justin, Eli Richdie, Man Solo, Nikola Marikovic, Steven Schlechty, That Green Guy, Lantan Jackson, Isaiah Breliski, Michael Lyon, Pedro, Byron Wang, Wind Wave, C, Kawaja A. Hamid, Jacob Depp, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Sleepy Jarvis, Thomas 
Bueno. Sloppy McGee. <laughs> Lauren Connell. David Nelson. Vinny Bianca. Uh, Jor Mags. James Noon 845. Look at this tie-dye fuck. If you want to pick up this cool tie-dye play win merch, you can do that at our bonfire store. Just go to the red font logo and swipe over the designs until you find the tie-dye ones. There's cooler ones than this. Maybe. Just like you do on Tinder. Just keep on swiping. Swiping. Okay, that's good. Well, oh, damn. good shit. Good game. That collector roof was brutal. Go. I was like really yeah. banking on being able to do that. I <laughs> know. I was I was looking good at shit. my opening hand. I was like, this collector roof isn't going to be that good. And then, uh, <laughs> nope. Yeah, that so was great. comes out at one meter game, probably. Crescendos and decrescendos. 